Yo, what's up? What's good? It's your boy Sino here. Carcino for life. Telling everybody this is what we do. Listen. Everything is upside down. What you thought was up is now down. Straight like that. Now let's get it. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the page. Hit that notification bell. All those great things. Yeah, now. Select all, which is supposed to be up there, but select all. Now, Boosie has put out a song titled. I keep a stick in the car. Now, you might be seeing that and flick, like freaking out. I keep a stick in the car. And listening to the lyrics, he's, you can tell he's talking about the incident that happened when he got hit. And the lyrics, well, if I'm a detective, I'm sitting back and I'm writing down everything that he's saying in the lyrics. And this is why I have mixed emotions about what's going on. Because as I'm sitting here with mixed emotions, and the reason I have mixed emotions is because I tried to do this live so I could actually address you guys. But for some reason, uh, notifications was not deployed. Now, when we first start mentioning anything about Boosie or, uh, you know, Mo3, people like, oh, man, what you, you don't know what you're saying and this and that. I'm like... Everything I'm saying is playing out in a cycle. You know, you seen what happened with Boosie, you seen what happened to Mo3, you seen there's a bunch of unnamed people that are gonna be harmed due to this. You know, and when you broadcast it when you broadcast it like that. You know, it's just, it never, it never really quite hit or click where it needs to click. Woo! Boosie making this record, to me, was the wrong, wrong, wrong time to make this record. But I can't. I can't tell somebody how to deal with their grief. You know, and for him, this might have been the right outlet to do it. You know, I know I don't know that trauma. Now I don't, like I said, I don't know his trauma. So when you don't know someone's trauma and you don't know where their mind is, this might be, this might be an outlet for them. You know what I'm saying? This might be a way or an extension of how they communicate. This might be, this might be. Like a cry for help or something like that. Or not a cry for help, but way to get a release for what happened. Because revenge, payback, all these things go through your head when you start thinking about what you, where you are, what you're doing, the situation, and the moment. 
You know, many of you may not even know. My cousin got hit three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Seven times. Still alive. We'll talk about it on the Patreon. Not here. But you see what I'm saying? I didn't make a diss record. I didn't make a diss video. You see what I'm saying? It's There's reasons for the things you do. You know, and it's like, everyone, it's this, the record, man, the record is hard. Don't get me wrong. It's just that when people keep making records like this or bragging, it's only going to antagonize and keep the beef going. Keep the drama going. It's or if you gonna handle it, don't handle it so that the whole world, you know what I'm saying, gonna go know about it because the police is actually right there. Now all you wanna do is make a record, that's cool. That's cool if all you gonna do is make a record to get your release, but now drama is gonna be drawn all the way up. Look. How many times have we seen somebody make a diss record back and more drama ensue? We've seen it countless times. Countless times. We've seen people lose their lives over some of the most nonsense garbage in the game. But we're familiar with that. We expect it now because we've seen it so much. We've almost normalized it. You know, I can't tell Boosie how to grieve. You know, and but I'm just saying, you're opening yourself up for incrimination. I mean, I understand you wanted to get all these songs off your chest, but you know, you almost lost your leg last time. You almost lost your life. You know, that's that's some reflecting right there. As you're going through rehab and all this stuff and recovering, trying to walk again. It's got to be frustrating. So, even though it's frustrating... You got to persevere through it because you got to look at the bigger picture. Anger, frustration has led people going right to jail. I've seen people retaliate for somebody they lost just a day ago or the same day. Go out and get themselves arrested. They don't even be around for the funeral. Because now they in jail. And now the parents got to worry about them. They got to worry about planning a funeral. And... Dealing with you going to jail. I've seen that. And somebody else got to be there because the mom was depending on, you know, the son to, to lean on. She was broken. She needed somebody at that time. And your anger and frustration, you go out and get yourself arrested. You know trying to get revenge now you in jail and you can't help anybody you see what I'm saying sometimes you gotta think think of the bigger picture And that's just really the gist of it. So hit the like button if you understand what I'm saying. Um, the notification bell. Please hit that when you subscribe to the page. My cash app is Carcino. 
if you want to donate, K-A-R-C-E-N-O. Thank you for your time.